Praised be Jesus Christ, now and forever, amen. My dear friends in Christ, our days are filled with countless activities, work, family, recreation, appointments, all of these are of different levels of urgency. We can identify some as true labors of love, parents caring for children, sons and daughters looking, for elderly, looking out for elderly parents, relatives or neighbors. Our jobs and charitable works make valuable contribution to our society and to our culture. But as we re examine our daily routine, what should be the most important moment of our life each and every day? Well, we as believing Catholics can say with certainty that the most important reality in which we participate is the Mass. Why so, Bishop, you might ask? Let's look at what the Church says about this. The Catechism of the Catholic Church puts it this way. The Eucharist is the heart and the summit of the Church's life. For in it, Christ associates His Church and all her members with His sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, offered once for all on the cross to the Father. By this sacrifice, he pours out the graces of salvation on his body, the church. Now you might say, really, Bishop? Do you mean to tell me that going to Mass is the most important appointment of the day? Every day? Come on. Well, I have to say that my reply to you is absolutely. That is what I mean to tell you, and I would stake my life on it. Allow me to explain why. When we come to Mass, we do not come only to a service of worship or to a series of hymns and prayers as inspiring and beautiful as they may be. The Mass is a true encounter with our Lord Jesus Christ. It is a living memorial of Jesus who makes himself present. But it's not a memorial or remembering that we may do by calling to mind people events or images from the past who are not really present to us. Rather, the Mass as the memorial of our Lord by the outpouring of the love of the Trinity makes Him really present, living, and dynamically loving each and every one of us. At Mass, bread and wine become the very body and blood of Christ. When we come to Mass, the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary is made present on the altar. The Catechism of the Catholic Church teaches us, the Mass is at the same time and inseparably the sacrificial memorial in which the sacrifice of Calvary is perpetuated. Because God is not bound by time or space as we are, the very sacrifice of Jesus is made present on the altar. This is the sacrifice that redeems us and gives us God's own life. It is the tremendous deed of love and act of mercy that tells us who we are and to whom we belong. Participating in Mass brings us to the very source and summit of the Church's life by bringing us to Christ, who is both priest and victim. He offers himself to the Father in sacrifice and then offers himself to us. How awesome is that? The Mass is the wedding banquet of the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ himself, at which he, the Divine Bridegroom, feeds us with his own body and blood. The Catechism affirms, the Mass is at the same time and inseparably the sacrificial memorial in which the sacrifice of the cross is perpetuated and the sacred banquet of communion with the Lord's body and blood. This means that when we come to Mass, 
we receive Jesus Christ in the Holy Eucharist. We know that the Eucharist is not a symbol of Jesus Christ. We know that it does not just remind us of what he did on that first Holy Thursday evening. Rather, we believe with our whole heart that the Holy Eucharist is truly Jesus Christ, body, blood, soul, and divinity present under the appearances of bread and wine. This is reason enough to come to Mass every day. Somebody might say, well, yes, Bishop, but those are only theological ideas. They really don't have anything to do with my very busy life. Really? Consider this. These ideas are what the Church has taught under the influence of the Holy Spirit from the beginning. The truth of the Mass can be talked about in terms of presence, of sacrifice, and communion. Presence. The Mass makes Jesus really present. Bread and wine become Jesus himself, body, blood, soul, and divinity. Who of us in our lives doesn't need the presence of the one who loves us more than we can imagine? Sacrifice. The Mass is truly his sacrifice of the cross. The Mass is the gateway into the Paschal mystery of the Lord's passion, death, and resurrection. Who doesn't need to make sense of the sacrifices and the crosses, the sorrows, and the burdens of our life by uniting them with the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus that redeems us all and make sense of all of our suffering and pain. Communion. The Mass gives us Jesus Christ himself when we come forth to receive him in the Holy Eucharist. It is the powerful and intimate union with him, most powerful and most intimate union with him this side of heaven. Who doesn't need to be united with God? Who doesn't need to know intimately the Lord to whom we belong? Is the Mass the most important appointment and encounter in our lives? You better believe it is. Here in the Diocese of Pittsburgh, we are beginning a campaign to encourage every Catholic to come to Mass every day, or at least as often as possible. Yes, you heard it right every day. So check the daily mass times in your parishes and in, the, in your parishes or the parishes in your area and make the appointment that will change your life in this world and prepare you for eternity. Now you may ask me, Bishop, when does this campaign end? I tell you, it ends when Jesus returns again. Because until then, Every day on the altars of our churches, we have the ability to keep that divine appointment with the Lord God of heaven and earth. Come to daily mass. Praised be Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen.